Hello, this is Haku Devine, and I am here with SCP-73, also known as Kane. If you like the video, please leave a like on, on the video, subscribe to the channel, and comment down below. I have a number, SCP-73, Object Class Euclid. Special Containment Procedures SCP-73 is to be kept in a two-room cell furnished with all non-organic materials those and items, and a bathroom. Subject is allowed to freely wander the facility and eat in the main canteen. A tracking device has been attached to SCP-73's person and is not to be removed. Subject is allowed any contact with the surface and is not allowed outside the facility. Subject is allowed no contact with land-based SCPs under any circumstances. Violence is not to be used against SCP-73 under any circumstances. SCP-73 is currently kept in Site-17. Description SCP-73, who I'm going to call Kane henceforth, appears to be a heavily tanned and male of Arabic or Middle Eastern descent in his early 30s, 165 centimeters or 6 foot 1, and tall and 75 of kilograms or 165 pounds. With black hair and blue eyes, arms, legs, spinal cord, and shoulder blade of the subject appear to have been replaced with artificial versions of unknown make and metal. Subject only knows it, only takes notice of this when it is pointed out and says that it has no knowledge of how, why, or when these replacements took place, saying it had had them as long as it could remember. There is a symbol engraved into the forehead of the subject, which appears to be of Sumerian origin. Symbol has, as of yet, been untranslated. And subject appears distressed when the symbol is mentioned at all, refusing to speak on it. Subject does not need to eat and drink on a regular basis, but is strictly carnivorous owing to its effect on place on plant-based items. Kane, who refers to himself as, well, Kane, is generally polite and and genial to all who speak to it. You know, it has been described as being cold and somewhat mechanical in its speech. He is very helpful and enjoys its aiding personnel in their daily actions, whatever they may be. He has highly detailed knowledge of ancient to recent events in history and most commonly spoken languages in the world, including ones that have since died out. Kane has professed to having a photographic memory, remembering word for word and all text in an 800 a page dictionary that was flicked through in a minute and a half. He has scored above average in all intelligence and tests given to him. Kane's presence is inimical in, 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 to any and all life grown in soil, causing death to any such life within a 20 meter radius. Any land Kane has walked on and any within the 20 meter radius becomes barren as all anaerobic bacteria dies, burying the soil incapable of supporting life until new bacteria are introduced. Anything that is derived from soil-grown life, such as wood and paper, immediately rots and disintegrates upon a touch of cane. Further affected derivatives include anything hydroponically grown. Bonds directed towards cane reflects any damage to inflicted on, on Kane directly back onto the attacker. Although Kane invisibly remains unharmed, this applies to any damage directed at Kane. Attempts to get tissue and blood samples have been futile. When a procedure was initiated, a person now carrying out the action felt the sensation of whatever was applied to, SC, to Kane, and wound up with a sample of their own blood or tissue. Despite the fact that all actions were directed solely at Kane. And direct damage through a medium also results in the person perpetrating the action receiving the wound cause. Although Kane receives no actual harm from the damage to its person, I say that it still feels the pain of the action and has politely asked researchers to abstain from overly harming his person. Additional notes Kane was found in the New York de Police Department in the 1900s, having been taken in after Hurricane had found had been found in the bodies of several violent gang members. 
Kane told police members that Kang, Kang had attempted to make sport of him, but had became angry and, and attempted to kill Bo Kang, resulting in their own demise. Kane was incarcerated and was deemed a John Doe when NYPD could not find any information on him. Kane came to the attention of the Foundation through a routine inspection of John Doe's and was subsequently released into their custody. Uh, then them 71, 73, 1. Examination of the unidentified metal all on Kane had suggested that it is beryllium, bronze, a metal that has been documented as being utilized by various anomalous cultures and entities. Most most notably, beryllium bronze is a component found in SCP-1216, SCP-1427, SCP-2481, and SCP-2711. In light of this discovery, the Foundation began working in an attempt to trace the origin of beryllium bronze and how it initially spread throughout the world. When prompted, Kane was able to provide information that suggests that Beryllium bronze originated in the Middle East, though the exact point of origin has yet to be determined. Further research into the origin of beryllium, of beryllium bronze is currently ongoing. I don't know if I'm saying that right at all. Addendum 73-2. In light of, of Kane's indestructible nature, photographic memory, and general will to please, High Command have deemed that all the Information is to be backed up on on Kane, ensuring he is not lost in the event of a catastrophe. But his action has met with mixed responses. Kane has agreed and sworn itself to secrecy on its part. <sighs> Addendum 73-3. When information concerning SCP-76, that is, Abel, We'll get to him day after tomorrow. It was brought to the attention of SCP-73. Well, it's brought to the attention of Kane for backing up. Subject showed familiarity with the information. Otto was disinclined to adding to it, despite the fact that it's, it already knew all about Abel. I didn't say that it would be better for all parties involved that not meet Abel. <sighs> Cain and Abel are are highly significant and important SCPs. That is why they are both getting their own separate video from most other SCPs. Obviously, their names are based on one of the older Bible stories of the first murder. But more than that, they are also incredibly interesting, and one is incredibly harder to contain than the other. I hope, hope that you enjoyed this. Please leave a like down. Uh, please leave a like on the video. Leave a comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. And be sure to hit that, that little bell. It is not Kane, so you don't have to worry about it hitting you back. I'll see you next time.